Hey everybody, today is June 1st, 2018. This is Derek, author and webmaster of Jamatronator.com. Today we're going to talk about what fake news is. And when I talk about fake news, I don't mean an article that is linked from an untrusted source on Facebook. I'm talking about the very same mainstream media that we are supposed to believe and trust in this country. I like to call them the fake stream media because as you're about to see, they pump out one fake news story after another. And this might be one of the better examples I've seen. So here we have this news story about a 30 year old who has finally moved out of his parents' house. And you gotta ask yourself, this isn't the only court case going on in this country between parents and one of their children. So why out of all the thousands of cases like this, are we getting national media attention? This guy was even interviewed on CNN. You know, what's so interesting about this case? What agenda is it serving? It doesn't seem to stand out for any significant reason. All, all that's happening is that the parents want him out of the house and it just went to court. So we're going to take a look at the details of this story and you're going to see the obvious ties with the symbolism. And then we'll look at the numbers and show you how this story is completely fabricated. So the man's name in this article, his name is Michael Rotondo. And to most people, this name doesn't really stand out or sound familiar. However, if you were a wrestling fan in the nineties, you might remember a guy named IRS. That was his stage name. His real name was Mike Rotunda, right? So it's basically the same name, just a couple of different letters. Michael Rotondo, Mike Rotunda. Two guys with similar names, no big deal, right? Well, first of all, let's start with Lawrence Michael Rotunda in the language of Gematria. This is where we get a numeric value for every word or phrase that we enter. His full name, Lawrence Michael Rotunda, using the alphabetic order, Lawrence 81 plus Michael 51, and then Rotunda summing to 93. This sums to 225. The headline that CNN gives us, if we paste this in and look at the full reduction method, we find it sums to 225. Now the coincidences are really going to start to pile up and you're going to see that they aren't coincidences, that this is absolutely how the news fabricates their stories. If we reverse the alphabetic order, this is called reverse ordinal. The name of the character in this story, Michael Rotondo, sums to 226. Measuring from the birthday of Mike Rotunda, which as we can see is March 30th, 1958, to the date of this story, he's exactly 60 years, two months, and two days old. This is the inverse of 226. And again, Michael Rotondo equaling 226 in reverse. So here's where it gets really interesting. First of all, the name Michael sums to 33 in the reduction method. This news story is coming out of the state of New York. New York is just one of a handful of states to sum to 33 in either of these reduction methods. And 33, we often talk about this as a hoax code. 33 full reduction. The 33rd degree is the highest degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Masonry equals 33 in reduction. Now, if you scan this article, you'll see that the parents issued an eviction notice back on the date February 2nd. Well, what's special about the date February 2nd? That happens to be the 33rd day of the year on the Gregorian calendar, the one observed by most of the Western world. Now, if you take the gematria of this letter, it says, after a discussion with your mother, we have decided you must leave this house immediately. You have 14 days to, evac uh, to vacate. You will not be allowed to return. We will take whatever actions are necessary to enforce this de decision. Now, when you drop this, into the Gematronator, the entire quote, as it appears, fr straight from the CNN article, using the alphabetic order, this sums to 2,213. 
2,213 is a prime number. Prime number relationships are very significant to this study. 2,213 is the 330th prime number. And again, remember what date Mike Rotunda was born on. March 30th, the date written 3 slash 30. Now, if you measure from the date of that eviction notice to the date that he actually evicted here on June 1st, it was exactly three months and 30 days. Now, as far as the last three digits in this gematria of the eviction notice, this 213, I'll tell you why this stands out. Today's date, June 1st, this is the date that leaves 213 days on the calendar. Now, if you go to Mike Rotunda's Wikipedia page and look at the personal life section, you'll learn that his son is actually Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, a former WWE champion on the present day roster. In fact, Bray Wyatt and his brother, Bo Dallas, both of these men are the sons of Mike Rotunda and they're currently in the WWE. So here you have a story about turmoil in a family because the son won't leave the house. And then you have this guy who used to be the head of the Wyatt family up until this past year where, when there was turmoil in the family, right? And both these sons took after their father and entered the wrestling business. And here you have this kid who won't leave his parents' house. You know, there's obvious parallels between these two families. So Bray Wyatt's real name is Wyndham Rotunda. And in Gematria, Wyndham Rotunda sums to 213 in the reverse order. Again, today, the date leaving 213 days on the calendar. So this connection to the Rotunda family, the name Rotunda in reduction sums to 30. And here we have a story about a 30 year old who's not leaving the house. And would you believe this? The date of the court date when he was ordered to leave, just to show you from the article here, May 22nd is when the judge granted the eviction notice and ordered this man to leave the house in 10 days. Well, on that date, May 22nd, that was Bray Wyatt's last day of being 30 years old. His birth date is May 23rd, and this year he turned 31. So would you believe that a 30 year old kicked out? I've already shown you the comparisons to him and Bray Wyatt. And even you can kind of tell the similarities in their faces too, right? Long hair, big scraggly beards, same thing going on over here with Bray Wyatt. As far as his brother in a uh, single reduction, Bo Dallas sums to 30. Again, a 30 year old leaving the house. There's a couple more interesting connections here. Uh, in the alphabetic order, Bo Dallas sums to 66. Again, this is Bray Wyatt's brother, the other wrestler. 66 is a number shared by both Wyndham Rotunda, his brother, and Lawrence Rotunda, his father. Both of them have reduction gematria of 66. And this news story comes to us from Camillus, New York. Uh, New York. Camillus, New York, summing to 66 in reduction. This story about an eviction, eviction in the reverse alphabetic order sums to 119. And if you take out the months from this equation, he's, be, he's uh, leaving the house 119 days after the eviction notice. A couple more things here. What we're looking at is government propaganda through the uh, fake news outlet that we call CNN. Propaganda using the alphabetic order equals 93. The name Rotunda also has this gematria of 93 in the alphabetic order. There's another cipher that we call prime numbers, and this is a very basic cipher. It's the alphabetic order except you're using the prime number relationships. Like we said, prime number is very significant. And Bray Wyatt's name in this prime number cipher sums to the 93rd prime number, which is 487. The, uh, the name of the judge 
who presided over this case and granted the eviction. His name is Donald Greenwood. Next, we'll look at English extended gematria. And this is a cipher that more closely mirrors the ancient Hebrew and Greek charts, where it goes 1 through 9, 10 through 90, and then 100 through 800. Well, the name Donald Greenwood sums to 930, which is funny because courtroom in that same method equals 903. The zeros are dropped in this practice, so these both reflect the number 93. Another form of gematria is called satanic gematria, and this isn't intended to scare anybody away from the study, but there's a significant reason for this. Satanic gematria sums to 666 in this method. One other very significant form of gematria that I teach is Jewish gematria, and this is based on the ancient Latin alphabet. You'll see the more modern English characters are at the end. And these two ciphers provide us with one final connection. The name Michael Rotondo equals 450 in Jewish gematria. Bray Wyatt sums to 450 using the satanic method. And this is just the kind of thing they do to tie these stories in together. Also probably worth noting before I end this, the name Rotondo sums to 88 in the reverse alphabetic order. And this is interesting because... Uh, Bray Wyatt used to wrestle under the name Husky Harris. And think about that, H-H, like 88. And this ties into where he was born, too. Brooksville, Florida, equals 88 in the reduction method. And uh, the place of birth of these men, always significant to this as well. So there you have it, just news by the numbers. You know, a totally fabricated news story passed off to the public as a real event. And everyone I've talked to about this story can't understand why it's in the news. Well, hopefully, now you do. It's because your news is a fucking joke, and nothing these people sh sh uh, say. I talked to a few people about this story today, and none of them could understand why it was in the news in the first place. Well, now you know. It's because the news is fucking fake. Not only do they exaggerate, not only are they biased, but they are outright deceivers. And if they're lying to you about something that didn't even happen... Do you really think they're about to give us the truth about anything real? Well, the fact is, they don't. They're not just lying to us about this story, but they're lying to us about school shootings. They're lying to us about terror attacks. They've been lying out their asses about 9-11 ever since the minute it happened. And when someone like me shows you how they craft their lies, they delete our channels from YouTube. You know, I only had 7,000 subscribers when they axed my main channel in February. And ask yourself, why mess with a little guy like me who's just sitting here running mathematical equations and asking the viewer if it's a coincidence? It's because my videos were on their way to becoming viral before the troll army flagged my videos so the Southern Poverty Law Center could step on my First Amendment right and delete my voice from the internet. There's still a lot of bark left in this dog though, so I'm not going to make it easy and stop trying to spread the truth. That'll do it for this video. Please, everyone, all you need to do to support me and my work is keep seeking and speaking that truth. We need a better system than the one these shit piles have built to keep us chasing their fake paper dollars, you know. Thanks for watching, everyone. God bless.